The honeybee is responsible, you may not realize, for all of the crunchy, colorful items on your plate. Tree nuts, fruits, a variety of vegetables, all are due to the pollinating behaviors of the honeybee, largely. So there are two forms of pollination. Animal pollination, those are plants that really do require uh, an animal, like a honeybee, to transfer pollen from one flower to the next. And then there's wind pollination. And honestly, the bulk of our grains uh, in the human diet are wind pollinated. So an easy way to think about it is this is your diet on wind pollination. Kind of a boring bowl of oatmeal. This, on the other hand, is your diet on animal pollinated plants. But honeybees ensure that pollen is transferred between a variety of different plants, ensuring their genetic diversity, which we know is essential for long-term survival of a variety of species. Additionally, there are benefits to human medicine. Honey, wax, royal jelly, all products from the honeybee hive have been used in a variety of treatments for human ailments, from cancer treatments to wounds to inflammation and a variety of other diseases. So there's all these benefits. You hear the benefits to human health, to our diet, to plants, yet we see headlines like this more and more. Bees are in trouble. Well, a number of things have been hypothesized. Parasites are doing it, pesticides are doing it, loss of habitat, monocultures growing a single plant species for hundreds of acres in a given area, climate change, hybridization with other bee species. What we're seeing as the research comes in is that it's really a number of primary stressors that are impacting a bee's immunity, thereby making them incapable of fighting off infections, diseases, parasites, here at Hood College, we are looking at a variety of research methods to protect and bolster bee immunity and to provide them with non-poisonous uh, alternatives that will protect them from various pests and parasites. Save the bees!